Hi, my name is Michelle Rivers, and my ID number is 3049782. Enjoy the films! Let's trim some nails on a dog! Yay! Alright, so for a dog, when you're trimming their nails, you want to go ahead and use clippers. And I like these kind, there's a couple kind you can buy. You can also use some quick stop if you can get this at your local store or if you're at home, you can just use cornstarch or flour to stop the bleeding if you do hit the quick, which is the blood vessel, blood vessel of the nail. So on here you can see the pink, pink is the quick and the white is the nail. So you want to quick, you want to clip right before the quick just like that. I like to round the tips off a little bit too, just so that they don't scratch the owner. I'm just going to trim the rest of them. And when I do the dental, I'll look more closely in there. If there's one that appears to be causing too much of a problem, I can always pull it. Come on, come on. It didn't look like he's having any issues there, so. Okay, one more. Yeah. All right, we have a superstar patient here. That's good. So everything looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. And that's how you trim a nail. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm going to show you how to trim a kitty cat's nails today. So to trim a kitty cat's nails, you're going to need a pair of nail clippers. Some people can also use um, toenail trimmers also if you have at your house. Or you, can, you also need some quick stops. Or you can also use cornstarch or flour at your house also if you don't have any quick stop available. This just works extremely well and also as a pain reliever too. Alright, so to trim a kitty cat's nails, you're going to want to go ahead and trim up to the pink mark. The pink is the blood vessel called the quick on the kitty cat. So we're going to go ahead and trim that. If you cut that, then we're just going to use the quick stop. So... We're going to trim right like that, right up to that quick part. You want to go just a little bit above it. All right. And that's the paw. So there we go. Record. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm going to show you how to administer a pill to a dog. So this is the pill you want to give her. You just want to put it on the back of the tongue and then caress the throat to encourage them to swallow. You just want to grab the top of their mouth, use your middle finger to kind of open up the mouth, put it on the back of their tongue, close the mouth, and rub the throat to encourage swallowing. And she licked her nose, so she's good. Hello, I'm going to show you how to give oral medications to a kitty. Today we're going to use a liquid medication. I'm just using water because this pet is not on any medications, and that's the liquid that I'm going to give her. And this is Daisy. She's willingly volunteering. So what you want to do is grab their head with the middle finger and your thumb, just like this, to pull their head back. Use your elbow to kind of keep them close to you. Put their head in an upright position. Put the liquid in the back of their mouth, just like that. And you can see that she's swallowed. Rub her throat a little bit to help to encourage. And there you are. And that's how you give oral liquid medications to a little kitty cat. Hi, I'm gonna go ahead and catch a urine on a female dog. When catching a urine, you wanna catch a urine middle of the stream, so midstream, um, or else you can get contaminants from their vulva and things like that. So it's more of an accurate sample. So here we go. And that's, and that's the urine. Okay. Hi, I'm going to show you how to put a gauze muzzle on a dog. So what you want to do is you want to get a nice long piece of gauze, you want to put it, give a nice big hoop in the center there, and then you want to go ahead and loop it over the nose, 
put it tight like that. Loop it one more time just to keep it secure. And then tie it underneath the head like that. And then typically you just want to tie it in a bow right behind the head. For easy release, to pull it off. And then see she can't open her mouth or anything right now. And then you just want to do a quick release to take it off in case of an emergency. And that's how you apply a gauze muzzle.